What did P say to you about that? Like, as far as the, the 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 way you guys would work, P, P he never he questioned me. Mm -hmm. He never, never, never. He just knew y'all had to figure it out. Yeah, he 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 knew I was going to figure it out. That's the traits of a, of uh, a boss. Yeah, a good leader. Definitely, good he leader. knew he knew the trait. He he never questioned nothing that I did. I I've never remember P getting in the studio and say, "Man, I don't like that beat." Like whatever I pulled up. He jumped on it and knew I was going to make it work. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Think about, and he said it made him he better. Said it. But think about the fact that he was the first of many. Right. Because you got to realize Snoop came after that and he had a different lingo. Yeah. But that was way on down. But just the many different people he was about to work with right. like that. Now, he wasn't thinking like that at the time, pretty sure. You weren't thinking I'm about to work with a lot of people. No, no, You were no. just thinking I got to get this guy's sound right because he's not sounding like us. Exactly. But see, you look at, you, you know, you brought up Snoop. But see, Snoop come from under Dre. Correct. So when Snoop came to No Limit, it kind of had me like, damn. Because one thing about Dr. Dre, his expectations of work is do the motherfucking yes. roof. And you're yes. right. And, yes. and Court had never been in the studio before. Right. So with, mm -hmm. with, with that situation, so Snoop already came in. With some experience. Developed an experience. Right. Yeah. Court came in. Green. like And ready to roll. Right. He just wanted to come in. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just trying to, in, in, in the top of, like I say, he was always nice. Yeah. But sometimes... Like when Shaq and Kobe was in the Lakers, they didn't pop until Phil Jackson came. That's right. That's right. They had all that talent. Yeah, and couldn't figure it out. Right. So, but when Court came, I'm I'm mapping it out. Okay, let me see how this gonna work. What did P say to you about that? Like, he, far as the 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 way you guys would work. P, P he never he questioned me. Mm -hmm. He never never. never. He just knew y'all had to figure it out. Yeah, he, he he knew I was gonna figure it out. That's the traits of a, of a, a boss. Yeah, good leader. Definitely, good he leader. knew he knew the trait. He he never questioned nothing that I did. I I've never remember P getting in the studio and say, "Man, I don't like that beat." Like whatever I pulled up, he jumped on it and knew I was gonna make it work. Because wow. you know what what is good for the team. You know what he likes. You know, you already know everybody. He right. know good music. Right. You know but see, music. another thing about it too with P is this is that when I finally got with P, P was like, I finally have my own sound. Mm. He, had, he had his own music identity. That made him mm. feel like this is it. Right. Because P worked with some bad motherfuckers. When, yeah. I, when I got him with him in, in California, like EA Ski, yeah, but he still didn't have his own sound. He didn't have his own. It no, wasn't no, that, no, that Louisiana. It was a Bay Area sound. Mm. That's and right. And, and EA Ski was EA Ski DJ Darren K. Lou is like, like they ran that Bay Area shit. Mm. You know, EA Ski he did like all Spice One shit. Um, DJ Daryl he did Tupac Keep Your Head Up and and then he had K. Lou that who he worked with a lot. But see, that makes me think of something else. Like, how did you and P, like, really know that y'all were about to work together? Like, when y'all, how did y'all know? Like, when you met him, of course, did, was it just about the music? No, no. It, man, when I met P, it was in Atlanta at the very last Jack the Rapper convention. Okay, okay. P, it goes back to Mia. Okay. When P came, when we was up there, he came down to New Orleans, and he went to Peaches, Peaches Records, uh, Peaches, and okay. Gentilly. Okay, he bought a lot of CDs. So when we came and went to Atlanta to work and promote and trying to shop serve demo, yeah, and that's when that big fight broke out with Luke. Yeah, 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 and um, Death Row. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, everything is just moving all around, and just so ironically, we wound up together. Wow. And people like boom, boom. He saw sir, sir, man, what's up, man? What's going on, bro? Sir? So like, you see, see, he knew Mia. No, he, he didn't, didn't know, know Mia. Mia at that time. No, he was just down here looking for. He was looking for a female artist, and ironically, he came to Peaches Records, oh. and Mia was working there. 
Of course, but but, but did he know who Mia X was at that time? No, no, she so, didn't, he didn't know nobody. So okay, so when he walked in and he he met Mia, how did she shop herself to no, him? No, no, no. When he walked in, Mia wasn't there. Mia was at home getting ready for a Scarface concert. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and he found her way. She, he found his way to her house. I mean, like, man, what? I'm about to do. A, I'm about to go to a concert. How did he hear How her did music? He know, right. How did he know about her? Look, every artist that P met through me, he didn't hear nothing. It was just that if I'm bringing him in. So you so knew Mia. Who, who told no, him about Mia? The people the, the people at the store, Sharani oh. and all the other employees. So he came here and was talking to everybody and then they no, told him about. He just came here. To drop them CDs off. To, to right. buy and come, because like CDs, I said. Right. P and then just, they told him about Mia. They told him about Mia. He was looking for oh, all of the female okay. artists. They got, told him, hey, you got Mia X work here, and, and she go in. And that's all. That's the, all he needed to know. Wow, that's, that's all he needed to know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.